So our network is growing, and that's a good thing. But that also means that the way we have it configured now is that all of our traffic is going to go all over our network. And the more it grows, the more broadcast traffic you're going to have going everywhere, using up your bandwidth. And if you can control it, you definitely want to do so. And we can control it, So, and we're going to do it in this video, and I'll show you how. And one of those ways is by adding and removing VLANs, only the VLANs that you need to go across your trunk ports. So for example, uh, you can see the boss is up here connected to this switch, and he doesn't yet have an IP phone. I'm sure as soon as he hears he can get one, he's going to ask you for one, but he doesn't yet have one. So for right now, uh, the only VLAN that we need to go from this switch across this trunk port to this switch is VLAN 200 because our data VLAN is VLAN 200 for the PCs and the IP phone, the VoIP, is VLAN 250. So since voice is only down here, we don't need VLAN 250 going across this trunk. So let's go ahead and initially configure this trunk port with VLAN 200. Right now, uh, let's take a look. I've got switch 0 up here on the right. And if we look at interface fast ethernet 24, you can see uh, it just says switch port mode trunk, which means all VLANs that are configured on the switch are allowed across this trunk port. We want to limit that to just VLAN 200. So if we go in config T, interface fast Ethernet 024, initially we will say switch port trunk allowed VLAN 200. Let's look at our running config again. And port 24. Uh, let's see, it captured it. Switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN 200. Uh, we'll go up to this top switch and we'll just do the same thing. We should have the same configuration, switch port mode trunk. So if we do config T, interface fast Ethernet 024, switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN 200. Show run. And you can see switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN 200. So right now, we are only passing VLAN 200 across this trunk port, and the boss's PC will still work because all we really did we didn't we didn't affect VLAN 200. We just removed all the other VLANs from going across that trunk port. Um, so now, say you come into work tomorrow, <clears throat> and they say, "Okay, uh, the boss heard about this new VoIP thing. He wants a phone. So we got to prep these switches. Let's make sure we have VLAN 250 extended to." at least his switch so that we're ready once we get his IP phone in then we can just configure his port on the switch instead of having to configure the whole trunk port. So let's go ahead and configure the trunk port now and the way to do that is to add VLAN 250 to the existing switch port trunk. So we go back into uh, config T, interface fast Ethernet 024 and we just simply say switch port trunk allowed VLAN and now if we just type 250 then it will replace what we have there. We don't want to replace VLAN 200 with 250. We want to add 250 to the existing VLANs that are going across that trunk. So we're going to say, question mark, you can see, you can just type the VLAN. We don't want to do that because it will replace it. Or you can type add, which is what we want to do, and then add uh, the VLAN numbers that you want to, to put on there as well. So VLAN add 250 is what we want. Let's do a show run again, and you can see VLAN 250. Uh, and VLAN 200 are on the switch port now since we use that add command. Let's go up to the other switch. Uh, we're on that switch. Let's go down to this switch and we'll do the same thing. Fig the interface fast Ethernet 024. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN add 250. Okay, and then that's just going to add it to the existing VLANs that are on that interface. Okay, so now. Uh, the boss tried out one of the IP phones, and he doesn't like it. He's good with his old rotary phone. So let's remove that broadcast traffic, even though we added it. This this sounds pretty much like real work, like real uh, network engineering work. You add it, and then they say, nah, never mind, take it off. Okay, so let's go back, and we'll take it off. And the way to do that, interface fast Ethernet 024. Uh, what we don't want to do... Uh, we don't want to say no switch port trunk. Uh, come on, trunk allowed VLAN 250. That's not the correct command. That will remove all of the VLANs that you have configured. Definitely don't do this in production. What you want to do 
is switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove remove 250 okay switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove 250 show run we'll see interface fast ethernet 24 and it goes back to simply having VLAN 200 uh, and then we'll do it again on our switch at the top interface uh, interface config T interface fast ethernet 024 switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove 250 show run scroll down to 24 and we're back to just having VLAN 200 because the boss changed his mind no big deal we can add it we can remove it without affecting any other VLANs if we do it the right way and that's how you do it switch port trunk allowed VLAN add and switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove that's how you add and remove VLANs from a trunk port uh, as always subscribe to uh, keep track of the latest videos and add your questions and comments below. Thanks.